marketing budget, that's that's not that much. That's discretionary spend. Buy a few subscribers for about 500 quid. Get a few likes just so it looks like your your content's engaging. And all in all, you could probably spend about 3,000. There's about two minutes left on this. Just listen to this, and then I'm going to tell you, if, and then I'll speak. That's where it stopped last time, isn't it? So basically what he's saying is this. If you don't play ball, right, he's not going to give you press pass. Look, they all know that. They're not stupid enough, are they? Right, all the, these YouTube channels that have got access, they're not stupid enough and they do right, don't they? They do right, but they all know, right, Coogan and people like Rob Tebber, they're smart enough to know that if they upset Eddie Earn and he bans them, what are they going to do? What are they going to do then? They're knackered, aren't they? What Frank Warren will then do, he'll bounce them all over and he'll, he'll ask for more from them. And if they're not be able to deliver, he'll ban them. Where are they going to go then? They can't say anything. Now, but are they sharing their platform enough? For example, if you go on IFL, you'll see Coogan Cassius, he's sharing Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury's links to their accounts. He's gone today, and it's a Tyson Fury's book launch, is it? Is it today? Or is it sometime this week? He's gone to that. Well, is he going to Clinton Woods' book launch? No. So why is he going to Tyson's book launch? Is he going to Peter McDonough's book launch? No, he ain't, is it? But he's gonna go to. Uh, is he? Did he go to Jane Couch's book launch? No. So what they're gonna do? They're gonna go to and help them promote their book, aren't they? That's what he's gonna do. And Tyson or one in there, one in our. Fair enough. There's not wrong with that. But whatever happened to we just want to work with everybody. And they're not working with everybody. Are they? Cook and Cassius. I know you're watching this. You're not working with everybody. You're not sharing it out. You're in a position of power, but you're not using that power. We all saw how your man, Umar IFL Umar, or whatever his name is, is it Patel or Khan or something? Umar, Umar your name, isn't it? That young kid, Umar, he went, oh, Eddie, can, can, I, can I ask you about this? This is my tweet. He went, oh, yeah, Eddie, and Eddie went, oh, uh, Sir Edward, that must be me. Uh, so have a look. Yeah, well, we're doing our best, Umar. That's it. Shut down in 50 seconds. That's not asking a question, is it? They didn't ask the question. They didn't tell them who the question's from. That's me. They didn't ask the question. So what can we do? How can we get these YouTube channel people to start asking proper questions? And I don't know, but they should be doing it, shouldn't they, by now? But it's all getting a bit tired now isn't it it's a bit clicky isn't it you've just seen michelle phelps at the beginning you heard what she said didn't you uh michelle phelps for those who are interested in seeing what kind of impact this event had on devin haney and billy joe Saunders' exposure both of their names have shot up in google analytics and have been had more than a million impressions since yesterday's way to put things in perspective spence porter had 55,000 impressions their entire fight week. 
Huh? Why is he slagging Spence Porter? Why is he doing that? Why is that? Why is he doing that? Is it because Spence beat Kell Brook? I don't know. Why is he doing that? Devin was just telling me how many followers he's just gone up and stuff like that. So and I don't even know what Devin Amy looked like. Boxing social. Coogan has said he's done the most views he's ever done. Like everybody benefits from it, but unfortunately, you just get the boxing community that just they're just so blinkered. And I understand how blinkered. Fans might not want to watch that. I thought that was good. Yeah. Like it wasn't. Like they were useless. I mean, like they could fight a little bit. Look, I even tweeted. I was like, "Look, uh, the the crowd is here for this mess, and so am I." Like, I, I, I... and I understand hardcore fans might not want to watch that. I thought that was good. Yeah. Like, it wasn't like they were useless. I mean, like they could fight a little bit. Look, I even tweeted. I was like, "Look, uh, the the crowd is here for this mess, and so am I." Like, I, I, I liked it. Yeah. That laugh is so fake, isn't it, from Michelle Phelps. Right, the point is, right, is this, right, these people have got good platforms, aren't they? They're working hard, aren't they, following Eddie Hearn around the world. They're working very hard. But they're not doing their jobs, are they, as boxing journalists, right? And is this how boxing's going? Now, Steve Bunce, right, is a pal of mine, and I get on with Steve Bunce. Let me tell you this about Steve Bunce. Steve Bunce got banned from a Mickey Duff press conference for, sorry, from Mickey Duff press conferences for over three years. And he had to pay his own way to go to press conference to get his job, to get, to go to press conferences to get his jobs done. Now, he was asking proper questions. These are not asking proper questions. If you put Anthony Joshua, well, for instance, when Anthony Joshua fought Eric Molina, right, Eddie Hearn said that he had a squeaky bum because Eric Molina were really up for this fight. Now, what happened? He weren't up for it. He had a four-week camp. 37-year-old school teacher, part-time school teacher. So, it was shocking, wasn't it? But nobody battered an eyelid, did they? And it's been, it's, this has gone on for so, for so long now. And nobody seems to be doing anything about it. Nobody. I've said my bit. I can't do it on my own. It's up to the fans. Now, what you've got is, you've got anybody who says anything against the grain. You've got all these people, they'll get you off social media. Now, I know about it. I, I know about that because I've had problems on social media with Twitter. When I eventually got to the root of the problem, there were something like 500 and odd complaints right but the actual tweets there were nothing wrong with the tweets so they let me back on but i got i ended up getting kicked off for some action they said anyway but this is why i very very rarely tweet now we put videos in there but i try not to i try not to engage now the the live chat's going on here now and what i'm going to do in a bit i'm going to point it to you i'm going to show you just exactly what's said but this it don't mean nothing to me but these are the same people that are telling me one day I'm great and the next day so when they get a chance to interact fuck yeah but the point I'm trying to make is if you say anything these trolls now they're all on ticket deals trust me I know when we got to the bottom on it with my problem there was something like 50 odd 50 odd accounts being 500 and odd complaints from 50 odd accounts the same accounts now when if, you, if, if you've got 500 complaints, every time I tweet, if you get 500 complaints over the same tweet, some of these accounts were actually complaining word for word the same. This is how Twitter got onto it. Now, this is how them bot accounts are out. They found a loophole in, in the system to get messages out there, to get PI, it's called public relations. This is what it is, public relations now. I'm trying to educate you all on how it works. They put a tweet out, right? And this tweet goes out on the same accounts and it swarms, right? But Eddie puts a twist tweet out, they all retweet it and like it and it trends, right? So then you think, God, KSI Logan Paul's trending. That's great. Because everybody's like, well, our two you put two is so important. Now, if they can get it to, out to all their subscribers 
Eddie's job's done for him, isn't it? But when you're hitting the kind of numbers that they're hitting, it's fake. Now, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear all this. No, they're great and this and that. It's look, it's a load of crap. What you've just seen is a con. It's a con. And these people, are, well, Shannon Briggs got a million quid to train him, didn't he? You've now got Johnny Nelson throwing his throwing his hat into the into the ring to train that that uh, whatever he's called to fight a case. I, is it Weller or Waller or some or Wally? I don't know what he's called, but of course they're all going to want to get involved. They know what money's involved now, don't they? All these people are all going to want to jump on the bandwagon. They've seen what Shannon Briggs has just earned, so they want to slice it pie, don't they? They're going to hype it up. And I'm afraid this is how boxing's going to go while you've got Eddie Earn at, at, the, at the front of the ship. But once it takes a downside to it, he'll be gone him. Just like his old man were gone after Chris Eubank got beat by Collins. His old man bailed out. He'll bail out Eddie Earn. He'll bail out, but that's just, that's just life, I'm afraid, isn't it? Eleven minutes. God. That's just how, how, it, how it goes, and uh, that's just how it's going. I'm afraid, and there's no I can do about it at all, except just say what I think. And I think that the tech it piss out fans. I think the tech it Mickey out of us, and it's just just happening in front of our eyes, and nobody seems to be saying anything in the positions of power, except Frank Warren. Uh, people like Frank Warren and Clinton and Woods have spoke out on there. I saw what Clinton said on Twitter. Uh, you know, he's an ex fighter, he's set up for life, millionaire, so is he bothered? No. Then you've got other people, uh, ex fighters, that have spoke out. And you've got no, nobody wants to say anything as regards rocking the little boat at Sky and Matchroom, do they? Because Eddie Hearn's got a long memory, let me tell you. He never forgot that Dennis signed Ricky Atten when he was going to sign for Barry Earn and he wanted to get Dennis back and didn't get in Jamie McDonald, but Jamie doesn't sell a ticket, does he? So it didn't matter really in the end of it. It was more a principle thing, wasn't it? Point I'm trying to make is this. If this is how boxing's going, I don't really want to know what to do with it, to be honest, because it's, it's a shambles, isn't it? Is that, is that our flagship event of the year? KSI, Logan Paul. It's just embarrassing for the sport, isn't it, really? I mean, you people like Floyd Mayweather, a promoter now, they know it's embarrassing, but it's money, isn't it? Money talks and bullshit walks, isn't it? And like I said, why isn't Steffi Bull coming out and saying something about it? He plenty to say in area. You're not saying anything on social media. Steffi, why don't you come out and say what you really think about KSI Logan Paul? Come and speak your mind. There's loads of other people that they want to come. They want to speak to people around gyms and whisper in people's ear holes. They're not saying a word, are they? Liam Smith came out and said something, didn't he? Hey, well done, Liam Smith. But he's already a multi-millionaire anyway, isn't he, Liam? Isn't he? But well done though for saying something. But nobody else has said a word, have they? Nobody else has said a word at all. So, what can you do? It's just one of them things, isn't it? It's just one of them things. Have we seen some comments on here? It's shocking, isn't it? And it's not even, they just spoiled it for themselves, aren't they? What's, what's the point in me saying anything on this live chat when you've got people like that? Unbelievable, but what can you do? It's society, isn't it? So, it's a society problem, I think, social media, but we need it, don't we, for, to grow the sport, but let's do it in the right way. Let's not, let's not see rubbish like what we've seen lately, all right? So, peace out, keep on trucking. Look <laughs> at this here. Keep supporting boxing. Uh, I think part one's just, uh, just finished now, is it? Yeah, part one's just finished. So, time's at you know, half six. So, all right, uh, shout out to South Yorkshire Packaging and Innovation Alloys, all right. Thank you very much for backing the channel. Bump.